Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. Um, I will be harvesting this field with you guys. It's just going to be a really calm episode. We'll just be talking about the channel and we'll harvest this. I believe we have to harvest on a 1, so here we go. I think. Maybe it's a 2. Let's try a 2. Alright, so we can harvest on a 2. Alright, got that figured out. What I'm trying to do is line up that little stick that I have there with the the little in-between row that it's on now. Can't. Oh, I just realized only the left mirror kind of works, and it's just a picture. It's not an actual mirror. With the class Lexion 780, which I really do enjoy, it um, its mirrors actually work. Like it shows what's next to you and behind you. It is sweet. Um, about the channel, we have an X-Plane series coming out soon, hopefully. I have a little bit of a trim problem. Uh, the, the problem is that uh, whenever you first start out, it'll start going on its own. It'll start going to the right a little or to the left a little, which isn't really a big problem. I can handle that. But the minute I get on the runway and I put it full throttle to take off, it will immediately... Or not necessarily immediately, but I mean, like right out of the box, start to turn right or left. And then in the end, like not in the end, but like count to ten, it will be so far turning to the right or to the left that whenever I do the counter reaction, like I'll turn my joystick far, far, far to the left if it's going to the right, it will not, it just cannot counteract. The wheels will start smoking and... It is just horrid. And I do not know how to fix it. So if you guys know how to fix it, uh, let me know in the comments. Because that would be really, really courteous of you to let me know how to fix that. Because I really want to get that Let's Play started, but I just can't, unfortunately. Because it's just... It just won't let me. Because I'm not going to... I'm, the whole point is to try and just go wherever the heck we want to. But if I can't even take off in a straight line because the plane's trim is way out of whack, and I try to adjust it manually with the in-plane controls and stuff, and it works a little bit on the ground, but still, whenever I go to full throttle, it just freaks out. It just goes way far to the right or to the left, and it's just bad. But a little bit more information. The minute that I pull up and I'm actually off the ground, that whichever way I'm turning, like it's if it's going to the right, I'll turn. I'll push my joystick really hard to the left. It'll still be going to the right, you know, because it freaks out. But the minute I get my uh, back wheels off the ground, the the whole plane will like its left wing will hit the ground because I was turning so hard trying to keep it from going to the right. I have no idea what the problem is. I'm thinking about contacting contacting X plane support and stuff, and oh, it's just madness. But we're harvesting corn, which is pretty good. So I think it all turned out pretty good as far as the farming simulator goes. Alright, we'll turn off that. Do a little bit of a UE. We'll lower that. We just want it off. Alright, turn it on. There we go. Alright gotta say we're pretty good harvesters we really are all right we're about at 80 percent holy cow that's just filled with corn this is taking quite a while here let's try a three nope yep two uh oh missed quite a bit oh, well not a lot but a decent amount that i'm not going to accept be missed so let's turn it back to a two I just realized from out here the cab seems really, really dark. Dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Alright. Um, well there's not really much to do. As long as we keep it a straight line, there really isn't much to harvesting. But, I, oh man, I really want that bailing stuff. Alright, I think I'm going to hire Jarrell here to do his harvesting. Where am I? I think I need to walk this way. Yep, there's the truck. We'll go pr approach Jarrell and the harvester because he will need to be unloaded here soon. Deny. 
As I have still had no luck in finding a replacement for these trucks. There's a few like cams, but they're like really, really old, like KAMZ. They're really old, and I just don't want them. No offense to you, the cams pride and joy people, but they're just old and yuck, I think. I'd rather have a truck with rainbow shining on it than them. But that's just my personal preference, and that's just my opinion. And he should be getting full right about. Oh, wow, look at that, perfect. Right at, oh, so close, he just had like four husks, four corn things to go. You were so close. All right, let's tab to here. Let's get this guy unfolded. And we'll just get him in position, hopefully, before Jarrell is done. There we go, we'll, oop, not G. We'll hire him. Whoa, yeah, that's right. Matrix stuff going on right there. Sweet, we're back in time. Let's get ready to see how much corn we're about to have. You can probably do the math if you wanted to. All right, uh, let let us move for you, Jarrell. Oh darn it, I have some in the back, like two. I have like two in the back because he unloaded in the back. You can't see it, but I'm, I know there is some because I saw him unloaded in the back. And then on our way back, we'll probably collect some eggs. All right, so we will be reaching over thirty thousand, over thirty-five. Yes, over thirty-five thousand. It'll probably be what thirty-six thousand. Ooh, maybe seven? Nope, 36. Yeah, see, look at that, eight. Eight is in the back. There we go. Now it's empty, so we're at 36660, as far as our corn storage goes. If you're wondering what number that is, that's 36,660. That's a pretty sweet number. All right, let's uh, grab some eggs while we're here. Joseph should be fine in the cultivator because I gave Drell a quite a large head start. Yes, that was planned. The head start was planned, not. But I'll say it was so I seem like a genius. Even though it's not really a genius thing. Not quite as, oh, let's get rid of the PDA. Farmers don't have PDA, it's just like that. Oh, do they? I did not realize they were so technologically advanced. Although, their combines and tractors are really, really technologically advanced when you think about it. All the controls that they do and the straight lines that they plant, holy cow, all that's done by GPS. And I suppose GPS is kind of old nowadays, but I mean, when, when you think about it, they are pretty technologically advanced. It's pretty amazing. Pretty darn amazing. I would hope so, though, because I mean, that's, this is the kind of, oh, geez, holy cow, that's close. I suppose I put a little bit too much trust into Joseph, but of course... He's going to go above and beyond and just go so close, but not chop any of the corn down. But as soon as he gets to the end, I'm going to have to stop him again. Man, that is just amazing. That's just like pure efficiency right there. And I like it because we have next to none, except that little, little guy over there. I can't see him. Hey, our guy's wearing a John Deere outfit. Hi there, little guy. Cool. All right, well, oh, we just passed our combine. Oh, Jarrell. Such a great harvester. Such a great farmer. Oh, that's right. We still have to check out that little uh, thing over by the end, the, the walkway. All right, you're done. Sorry, Joseph. You can go lay down now for some time. Oh, uh, just out of curiosity, let's see what's up here. Because we have a little bit of spare time. Whoa, what is that? Is that the, what is that? Is that an empty dry river? Well, let's check what that, let's check what that is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Leave in the comments what that is. That's very, very amazing. It's not the farm shop. Hmm. That is indeed amazing. Then just over the hill, we have our very nice setup going on. Whoop. Steep rock, we're okay. We'll park that right here. Draw will probably get all the way down here, probably halfway back before it needs to be unloaded. So we'll go ahead and grab our truck. Oh, I just, wait. Is there another guy in there? No. Alright, just shows us. This is us. 
We changed clothes real quick. We weren't John Deere. We decided to change into a red shirt. Alright, I'm going to park this about halfway up like I just said. Right about here. Let's hope Jarrell doesn't unload into it. Oh, deny. There we go. Yep, Jarrell's not unloading. What a good guy. Ah. Way to be, Jarrell. Way to just unload this. <coughs> uh, unload the, the stuff from your from your pickings. I expected more from you. I really didn't. No, I didn't. I expected the exact, exactly what you're giving me right now. That's exactly what I expected from you. Which is great. I wish they kind of came with a larger corn header for the cat, but they don't. They have a 24 row for the John Deere. Holy cow, can you imagine? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is an 8 row corn header right now. Can you imagine a 24? 8 can go into 24, 16. 16 plus 8, 3 times. So the 24 row is 3 times larger than this. Oh, that is sweet. Look at that. The, the, the rotating thing. Oh, it's down now. You can't see it. Man, that's some really good detail. Look at that. It's rotating. Oh, right there. Right there. See it rotating? That is sweet. I'm just going to hop in with you, Jarrell. There we go. Oh, we changed clothes again. Or no, that's right. That's Jarrell. Whoa. Look at that crazed stare. Oh. Disappear. Oh, disappear. Look at that crazed stare. That's crazy. Oh, he can see us through the steering wheel. Oh, this creepy. Oh, okay, much better. Thank you, Jarrell. I'll just get up here. <coughs> oh, man, corn heads. Ugh. That's why we throw them back into the dirt. It's because the dead and the dinosaurs like them. It's, their it's where they get their nutrition. Did you know that corn originated in America and was brought to Europe way, way, way back when, whatever year it was? Did you know that? <gasps> Whoa, Jerome might be able to make it all the way to the end. In fact, he probably will. Oh, but that was just a little fact for you. Two little facts for you. Just some free knowledge. Some great free knowledge. It's really hard to come by free knowledge nowadays. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, let's see if we can see his uh, thing when we pass him. Can we see the top? Oh. Oh, yep, there it is. Woohoo. Alright, Jarrell, you're gonna have to stop as soon as you reach the end. There you are, you're done. It's gonna take all of the grain out of ya. You don't deserve it. Well, you do, but... Thank you, Jarrell, for doing such a great job for the McFarm. Or the McGeek Ranch. Hey, 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 related to Minecraft. Which, by the way, should be coming out hopefully soon. We tried to upgrade to the Ultimate. But the ultimate doesn't like to work on Mac for some reason, so we switched back to Direwolf. We we we're trying to change our sorting system, and it's turning out all right. There's just a few little tweaks that we need to figure out now, like which way the filters or the sorting machines go, and it's it's turning out pretty good. There's just a few little kinks that we have to work out. I mean, it's not that big of a bother. Why do I have this back trailer on? It's not like we're filling the truck full before we like unload it here I don't know we're spies in the tree checking up on our guy here make sure he's doing all the right stuff you you check out alright thank you mister spy thank you alright uh, oh jeez around here there we go not a single casualty Sounds like a good, good deal to me. I think we'll park our truck right here. Oh, hey, yeah, the farm, that's right. The grass is, whoa, it's grown. Heck yeah, we'll start mowing that as soon as we rehire Drell here. Let's X this. Let's lower that. Let's do this ourselves after I line it up properly. No, let's hire. There we go. All right, now let's go hook up our farm cow guys to the mowers. 
Oh, the dreaded, dreaded mowers. Especially this guy over here. He is dreaded. Not a fan of him. Oh, hey. Look at that. He got on okay. Getting off is just... Ugh. Trying to get him off of you. Man, that, that's one hard thing to do. You almost need a whistle. If you know what I mean. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Unfold that. Lower that. What's, can we hire if we do this? I don't know. Let's see. So if we just have it like right there and then let's back up a little. And let's turn that on. Turn that on and hire. No, we cannot. Alright, well, before we do that, let's check back up on him. Alright, I don't feel safe with you going, so I'm just going to have to stop you there. Alright, back to here. Let's turn that guy on. Turn that guy on. And then a two. There we go. Looks like our mowers aren't lowered, but indeed they are, so don't you worry, don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Is a song that's really, really good that you, I would highly suggest by, I think it's the Swedish House Mafia, but they may or may not be in their field of, or their line of work anymore, because, you know, the U.S. government has really been putting a crackdown on the Mafia lately. <laughs> oh, man, I kid myself. Who came up with that? You kid yourself. Like, what, did you sprinkle a potion on you, or maybe that's the secret to uh, anti-aging material that you see on commercials all the time why don't they ever use that saying I kid myself you make yourself look like a kid again you make yourself act like a kid again I would consider a look like a kid because anyone can act like a kid you I mean it's not it doesn't deserve a saying but neither does YOLO you only live once like no duh but I, I suppose it depends on your religion if you believe in, like, reincarnation, well, then I guess maybe as a whale or something, whatever you come back as, well, then you only live once as a whale. Unless you come back, like, two or three times as a whale, in which case, you, maybe that's how each species gets smarter as they develop. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a genius, as though I may appear to be a genius as much as Einstein or something. I'm not. So please do not confuse me with Einstein. It happens a ton. It really does. I cannot walk into Walmart and say, Hey, look, there's Einstein. It's like, no, no, sorry, just another genius. Not Einstein. Did you know some people question whether or not Einstein was really a human because he was so genius? Same with the pyramids. They say aliens built them. and You may believe aliens built them, but honestly, come on. It's just slave power, ropes, and a really smart math people to figure out the slope and the angle and stuff which by the way I've already learned I learned that in eighth grade of course times have changed now and since you know the great cat that the Egyptians adored and most girls adore nowadays the only difference is back then when the emperors adored them they would slave people and make a giant one thank goodness girls don't have that much power these days I could only imagine how bad that would be my goodness. Alright, so let's continue this. Looks like we're about done mowing. And Jarrell is almost full. Mowing really doesn't take all that long, it looks like. Not that heavy duty of a chore, especially with these kind of mowers and stuff. Really not that bad of a duty. Ooh, use that duty. Patootie. Ooh, use that patootie. <laughs> no, I did. You, you, you're kidding yourself. Come on, dude. You did not say patootie or the other word that I said you said. You said I said. Oh, my goodness. Not one of those things. Those things can get so annoying whenever people don't know who's right and who, who's wrong and stuff. So they'll just say, oh, well, you know, dude, bro. that's exactly what they say. X, V, X. All right, so... We'll go ahead and drop this guy off. Th there. And then this guy will be a huge challenge to try and drop off, but indeed we'll try to stick him right there. Don't. Okay, good. Ooh, ooh. 
oh, I don't feel comfortable driving that close and not tipping it over. So we'll just stop him right here. We'll park him right there. We'll head it probably next episode. Actually, we just need to unload Jarrell, which I did indeed not just notice. I noticed it quite a while ago. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I indeed, 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 I did. Nope, nope. Oh, gosh. Darn it. Sorry, Dr Jarrell, wait. I'm backing up. My goodness. Deny. My goodness, Jarrell, I'm moving. Holy cow. Calm yourself. All right, we'll just unload you now. Thank goodness the workers realigned them, unlike in 2011. When you bumped them, they were completely out of whack. I did not like that. Because I tend to bump my workers a lot like that. Although, I really don't bump them a lot, but I bump them. I also like how workers now can align themselves better than um, in 2013 than 2011. Because in 2000, higher. See, like that. He turned himself to be straight. Versus in 2011, when you did that, they would just be, like, crooked the whole field. Which was nice, because some of their fields were crooked. Which is kind of weird, but they were... Oh, darn it, I got some in the back. I was trying to avoid it by, like, flipping my trailer around. But, of course, the one time that I wanted to freak out, it doesn't. Oh, trailers and their freaking outness that doesn't or does happen whenever you do or do not want it to. My goodness. Alright. Just unloading some corn. Don't mind me. Stats. Oh my goodness. We will hit more than 100,000 uh, units of corn. We've already hit... S oh, hold on. 90 will not... Darn it. We were so close. We're at 59, 940. Oh, we have to end this episode the minute we hit 60,000. So, Drell, come here. Don't run away from me. Come here. Oh, he's running away. He's even spitting stuff back at us so we, we won't catch up to him. But guess what, Drell? Those are corn heads, not oil. Those will just give us more traction. In fact, we can use it to create oil. Corn oil. Which I think is used for cooking. I don't even know if corn oil exists. There you go. Just give me some. 700 will be plenty. Thank you, Drell. Thank you. All right. What a perfect way to end this episode. Forcefully by having more than 60,000 units of corn in our, in our thing. Silo. That's what it's called. Called. I think is what it's, I think is how we pronounce it. I really... Oh, there we go. See, now you can freak out all you want. But whenever I don't want... Or whenever I want you to, you won't. All right. So we hit... Oh, look at that. Even better. More than 60,000. Oh, no. Hey, hey, whoa, jeez. Belize. Belize is a... Belize is a country? Yeah, Belize is a country, not a city. I was thinking city there for a second, but then I was like, well, city? That's kind of city-ish, not country-ish. Well, either way, we have 61,718 corn. We are still harvesting. Oh, oh face palm. Anyways, we're still harvesting along, and we should be coming close to ending. These harvests just take forever. Let me know if you guys want me to do these on screen. I mean, this is what heart or farm is all about, so I figured you did. But either way, I uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. It really helps our channel. And tune in next time.